Okay guys, we are back with Mega Man Battle Network 2 here, and we're supposed to disarm this bomb that we're inside of, apparently. And if you go the wrong way, yeah, the passion's way kind of blows up. Other than that, it's pretty well just uh, a straight shot. There's no other really thing in our way, so real easy area. I just did that for the heck of it. And yeah, I'm cutting out random battles, for, for the time being at least. Um, so, yeah, that'll save some time. Uh, that's the wrong way to go. <clears throat> I think I'm fighting off a bit of a cold or something coming on. Throat feels kind of scratchy, but... Oh well. Oh, I can't unseat you. That's good. Oh, man. Yeah, with that, we can get our first program advanced. Uh, combining cannon A, B, and C. So, anyway, uh, yeah, we're, we disarmed this bomb. Or detonator, I guess. And there's a couple more to go. It's around here somewhere. Okay, they made a, a canteen into a detonator for some reason. Oh well. And... Blow, blow up the wrong way just for the heck of it. And in case you haven't guessed already, this is going to be Quick Man's area. Thank God there aren't those giant lasers of death that were in the original Mega Man game. Instead, we just had to deal with passageways being blown up. And another blue data. White sword. And I'm just checking out my chips as I am. Yeah, I still have sucky chips, mostly. And here we are, the detonation. the heck out of the canteen and um, trying to remember where the third one is. Let's see. Yeah, there's the bear. Yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. They hit the third one back here for some reason. So, once again, it's pretty well the exact same thing. I would be facing random battles here and there, but like I said, I'm cutting these out. Save video time, since YouTube only has a, I think, 11 minute time limit. Um, if you're like a partner or something, you can have up to an hour limit, but sadly, that's not the case for me. So, I'm kind of rambling on here, I know. Not really even talking about anything important or funny or anything. Um, let's see, something really bad happened to me the other day. Um, my HD TV that I got back in June that I've been saving up for like all year to pick up. This nice TV. Well, I was messing with one of the wires in the back and I guess it wasn't properly connected to the TV stand, and well, down it went, and now I have to send it in to be repaired. Ah, uh, it's so horrible to see your nice television broken like that. Thankfully, I have a backup TV, but 
I still have to pay shipping costs, possibly other fees. I do have a um, a warranty, but I don't know if it completely covers it or what. But I have that to deal with, so I'm a little depressed over that situation going on. Anyway, we got one more detonator, and uh, there's Camper Dave. Yeah, you're. Uh, kind of suspicious guy. And I guess he's just going to stand right there and let his jacket to his detonator for some reason. Oh well, uh, I'm not going to argue with him. Another wrong way, yada yada. Wrong way. Yeah, I figured. That's a decent chip. All these wrong ways. Let's go ahead and I think put that in. Yeah, it's way better to recup 10. And of course that's the wrong way. Another blue data. Hey, a power up. You gotta like that. Let's go ahead and do attack. So now everything is at two. Yeah, of course that's the wrong way. And a buff frag. Quit exploding. And more blue data. And attack 10. We're almost there. We're so close to Quit Man now. And that's a decent amount of city. I think Quick Man is right up here. Yep. So I'm going to stop it here and we'll be fighting Quick Man in the next part. So see ya.